there's a formula created over 500 years ago that can make you rich. In 1494, an Italian accountant named Luca Pacioli wrote a book called Summa Arithmetica. It was the first printed book in history on algebra. In fact, it didn't just cover algebra, it also discussed geometry and it is considered the first accounting manual ever written. Luca Pacioli was also the creator of the double entry bookkeeping method, the system accountants worldwide still use today where every transaction is recorded in two accounts, one as a debit and the other as a credit. This method is literally the foundation of modern accounting. You can download this book for free online. I even did it myself. And while flipping through its pages, I discovered something really interesting. There's a passage in the book, not even a particularly famous one, where Luca Pacioli did some calculations to figure out how long it would take for a country's wealth to double at a given growth rate. And guess what? He came up with a formula. And later on, people realized that this formula wasn't just useful for estimating how long it would take for a country's wealth to double, because in fact, they discovered that Lucas' formula could be an incredible tool for anyone looking to grow their personal investments. This formula became known as the Rule of 72. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can double your money while you sleep using this formula created over 500 years ago. Before we get into the Rule of 72, let me ask you a quick question. I'll give you two options and you have to choose one. The first option, I'll send you $100,000 right now. It sounds great, right? The second option, I'll deposit one cent into your bank account right now. But every day for the next 30 days, I'll double the amount. So on the first day, it's one cent. On the second day, two cents. On the third day, four cents. And so on for 30 days. Which one would you choose? $100,000 up front or one cent that doubles for 30 days? Be honest and drop your answer in the comments before I speak what I'm almost going to do. I bet most people would take the $100,000, right? And that would be one of the biggest financial mistakes of your life. Why? Because while that one saint starts off small, watch what happens over time. Day 10, $5.12. Day 20, $5,242. Day 25, $167.7K. Day 28, $1.3 million. Day 29, $2.6 million. And day 30, $5.3 million. In other words, you would have turned down over $5.3 million just because you didn't understand the power of compound interest and choose the quick $1,000 instead. So what does this have to do with the rule of 72 created by Luca Pacioli? Hold on, I'm getting right there. And obviously, the example I just gave you was exaggerated. In real life, money doesn't double every single day. You're not going to invest 1,000 today and magically have 2,000 tomorrow. And that's exactly why 500 years ago, the rule of 72 was created. It helps you estimate how long it will take to double your money at a given rate of return. The formula is pretty simple. Pay attention. You take the number 72 and divide it by the interest rate or the rate of return you were earning on your investment. Here are a few examples. If your investment earns 10% per year, it takes 7.2 years to double your money. If you earn 14% per year, it takes 5.14 years to double. If you earn 20% per year, it takes 3.6 years to double. Now, I don't want to disrespect our Italian friend, but I have to add a small disclaimer. Since the rule of 72 is an approximation, it has some limitations. For example, when we start calculating returns with rates above 30%, per year, the difference between the estimated time and the actual time becomes significant, making the result less precise. To make things easier, here's a comparison. At 20% per year, rule of 72, 3.6 years. Actual time, 3.8 years. The error, 5.3%. At 30% per year, rule of 72, 2.4 years, but the actual time is 2.6 years. So there's an error of about 9.2% and we have this variation 
you already understood. Now, moving on, and let's be real. Getting a consistent return of 30 to 40% per year is nearly impossible. Now, take a look at this. Let's move to the second part of the video. How do you apply this rule to your investments? I'll give you real practical examples of the application of the rule of 72. With a real portfolio, real returns, real everything, imagine you have a portfolio of $100,000 and you decide to spread your investments as follows. 45% in VGT, that is a Vanguard ETF that provides exposure to leading US technology companies, which on average earns about 20.47% per year. I put this here in the portfolio because you need to have exposure to technology and for now it is one of the sectors with the highest returns. 45% in VTI which returns around 12.31% per year and the VTI is the basics, a Vanguard ETF that offers broad exposure to the entire US equity market including small, mid, and large cap stocks. Almost everyone invests in the American market anyway. 10% in bonds with an annual return of roughly 4.5%. And to give you security and liquidity, it's money you can redeem in times of crisis. So I separated investments into different asset classes and sectors to diversify. You should never put all your eggs in one basket. And even though the video isn't about that, I always like to remember and stick to the philosophy. And to figure out the overall performance, we use a weighted average. This means you multiply each asset's return by its share of the portfolio. So VTG contributes 9.21%, VTI contributes 5.54%, bonds contribute 0.45%. And when you add this up, the average annual return for your entire portfolio comes to about 15.20% per year. Perfect. However, as past performance does not guarantee future results, let's imagine three scenarios. One, where you achieve 80% of that return, another where you get 100%, and another where you hit 120%. In these scenarios, you'd be looking at annual returns of about 12.16%, 15.20%, and 18.24% respectively. It honestly looks good in any scenario. And using the rule of 72 to estimate the time it takes to double your money, you have as follows. At 12.16%, it would take approximately 72 divided by 12.16 and it is approximately 5.92 years to reach $200,000. At 15.20%, it would take approximately 72 divided by 15.20 and it equals 4.74 years to reach 200k. At 18.24%, it would take approximately 72 divided by 18.24 and it equals 3.24. 95 years to reach $200,000. It looks pretty solid to me. This was just a simpler video. I just wanted to show this fun little rule of finance. And thanks for watching. Stay invested until the next video. And bye bye.